have you thought about buying an electric vehicle? Well, a new poll shows about four in 10 adults are at least somewhat likely to make the switch here in the next few years. Yeah, the May deterrent, high prices and too few charging stations, but there's plenty of work to reduce those barriers. Courtney Godfrey joining us. And so Courtney, Minnesota just received $68 million to grow charging infrastructure. You got it, Kelsey. It's all part of a $5 billion initiative by the Biden administration. The idea being that if you wanted to, you could charge your way across America. Whether you're coming or going, it's likely you're zipping down the highway in a gas-powered car. With experts saying gas will reign king until electric vehicle infrastructure improves. When the infrastructure is there, the EVs will follow. And while less than 1% of registered passenger vehicles currently on the road in Minnesota are electric, the Biden administration is hoping if they build it, you will come. There's something they call the chicken and egg argument, you know, should the EVs come first or the charging infrastructure? So the government has made the decision, they're going to put the chargers in and the EVs will follow. Minnesota has received $68 million in federal tax dollars to put fast charging stations every 50 miles down the entire stretch of both I-35 and 94. Our hope is that the, having this backbone infrastructure of charging stations will help to give people that confidence that they need to um, be able to make those trips and, and buy those EVs. But Joel Fetter, whose job it is to drive and write about cars, says most drivers don't even need those charging stations. A lot of people are used to, I go to a gas station and I fill up, so I need a charger to go fill up. Most people don't have a gas station in their garage, and that's going to be a huge change for a lot of people. The state's goal is to have electric represent 20% of cars on the road and 60% of new car sales by 2030. But Fetter says that doesn't mean gas is going anywhere anytime soon. Even if we did a hard shift and only EVs were sold in 2030, it's going to take a decade, two decades. I mean, it's going to, there are going to be gas-powered cars on the road for times to come. Now, right now, MnDOT says there's about a thousand of these level two chargers across the state and about 300 superchargers. Those going in with this initiative will be superchargers and you'll be able to charge your car almost fully in under 30 minutes. Reporting live in Plymouth tonight, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9. Yeah, I have to take into consideration winter months too. When it gets really mm -hmm. cold, the battery can drain faster. Right. So hopefully this infrastructure can build up yeah, quickly. Tackling the road trip has been a big issue yes. for people who have been thinking about buying an EV.